What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another SketchUp and Lumion tutorial for you. So in today's video I wanted to talk about how to import terrain with buildings from SketchUp into Lumion. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so the last couple of videos I've been talking about how to import things like cities and buildings and things like that into Lumion so you can create things like uh, so you can create things like uh, city renderings and stuff like that. And so if you remember what we did before is we've been using the open and street map functions inside of Lumion. So um, we'll go ahead and link this up real quick just by turning this on and I will link to that video in the notes down below but if you remember what we've been doing is we've been finding a place so we're gonna select Castle Rock Colorado which is a small town in Colorado um, just south of Denver and so one of the things about Castle Rock is it's kind of hilly it has like a big hill with a rock in the middle of it and so remember what we did before is we found the location that we wanted to import and we just click the start download button and what this would do is this would query the OpenStreetMap database and it would bring buildings in based on that so you can see how this comes in and it does a pretty good pretty decent job of bringing in like roads and stuff like that but the problem is if you look at this building right here or this uh, this location right here this is a giant hill like it's a big hill um, and uh, the whole town so I'll give you an image of it so the whole town kind of looks like this um, so if you just Google Castle Rock Colorado you can see how there's this big rock on this big hill in the middle of town and you don't get that using the open street map function because it doesn't really bring in terrain or anything having to do with that so the buildings are all pretty accurate but the hill actually isn't and so what I wanted to do was teach you another Another way to get that data and bring it into Lumion. And so what I want to talk about is I'm going to go over into SketchUp and I'll go ahead and start a new version of this just so you can see how I bring this in. We're going to use an extension called Placemaker. I will note Placemaker is a paid extension so you do have to pay I think it's a yearly subscription in order to use this but if you want to create cities and stuff like that it's very powerful. And so what we're going to do in this case is we're actually going to kind of end around the Placemaker dialog. Usually what you'll do is you'll bring this in using the select a place function but this doesn't bring in the terrain so what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna use the SketchUp location function in order to bring in a location and so in this case I have the Castle Rock area selected and I'm just gonna click on the button for select region and we're just gonna bring in as much of this as we can so I'm just gonna click the button for grab <clears throat> and that's going to bring this data in here and if you remember when you bring in location data in SketchUp Pro um, it also brings in the terrain and so you can turn on the terrain by going up into the terrain section or the uh, the location toolbar and clicking on this button for toggle terrain and so what that does is that brings in these hills and this terrain and the imagery is not very good I'm not going to talk about that too much right now that's a map provider thing. What I want to talk about instead is the ability of placemaker to then come in here and actually build a place out using this location data. And so what placemaker allows you to do is it allows you to bring in things like roads and water and trees and buildings um, in 3D. And so what we want to do is we want to bring these roads in. And I'm going to bring them in the wrong way first um, just so you can see how not to do this. So what you do is you click on a location like this one and then you click the button for roads and what that's going to do is that's going to come in here and it's going to use the open street map data in order to import those roads into SketchUp. So you can see how it takes a second to do this. It's going to sit and work for a little while. But what you're going to notice when this data finally comes in is I didn't have this set to work on the terrain. So what it's going to do is it's going to bring in all that road data but you can see how it kind of runs through this face. Well, the reason why is it brings in all that road data and it's flat. So you can see how you're missing out on all of this road data. So I'm gonna undo this and I just wanted to give you an idea how that looks. And instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the little arrow and I'm gonna find the button for merge with surface. And so when you find the button for merge with surface and you click on this again, what this is gonna do is it's gonna create those roads and I'm not sure if it drapes them down or what, but it takes these roads and it'll actually place them on the terrain inside of SketchUp. And one thing I do want to point out about this is it does take a lot longer to use the merge with surface function. So I wouldn't necessarily use that unless you're doing something like this hilly terrain. 
You can see how what this did is this actually came in here and this draped the roads along the terrain inside of SketchUp. So you can see how by doing that, you now have this detailed road um, running along the topography inside of SketchUp. And so we're going to go through and we're going to add the other things that you can add in Placemaker as well. So things like paths, we're going to check the box for merge with surface and we're going to bring those in. So we can bring in paths, we can bring in things like water, and then the thing that I'm most excited about, which is the buildings. And so the buildings is gonna allow us to actually bring in the buildings based on that OpenStreetMap data, a lot the same way that the buildings um, inside of Lumion do that. But what we're gonna do in this case is we're gonna click the button for drop onto surface. And so what that's gonna allow us to do is that's gonna allow us to bring these buildings in, but just like we did with the roads, it's gonna drop these buildings on the surface. So all the buildings that are like on the hill and things like that, it's just gonna drop them until they intersect with the surface um, rather than just dropping them flat and then they don't necessarily show up up here. There we go. And so what this did is you can see how this actually brought in all of these different houses and things like that, all the data for those, and it actually dropped them on the terrain. So you can see how it dropped things like this building right here until they intersected with the terrain, but not down below where you couldn't see them anymore. And so what this allows you to do is this allows you to bring in a city inside of SketchUp that you can then take into Lumion. So now we can take this, and what we're gonna do is we're going to, we're gonna take this this and we're going to export this to Lumion. So I'm actually going to go over into Lumion real quick and I'm just going to start a new blank template. And then inside of SketchUp, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to load up Lumion Live Sync. And so when I load up Lumion Live Sync, it's going to ask me to save this. So I'm going to do a file, save as. So then we're just going to go in, we're just going to click the play button to start Lumion Live Sync. And I'm gonna uncheck the bu button for start camera synchronization. And then you can see that this is actually gonna bring this in inside of Lumion. So my SketchUp model is now being imported into Lumion. And I did this once and it had some kind of weird mapping things with the texture on here. I'm not a big fan of this texture anyway. I'm not really sure what was driving that, but then I ran it again and it came in just fine. But the one thing you're gonna notice is because this is hilly and it goes up and down, some of this is below the ground plane inside of Lumion. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna come in here and we're gonna use the objects and then we're gonna use the move up in order to move this up until the whole thing is up above that Lumion ground plane. So once we do that, so we're gonna bring it up a little bit more. You can see I'm just clicking and dragging this. You can see how I basically have a complete city in here. Um, but the nice thing about this is unlike the Lumion OpenStreetMap version, I actually have the terrain and I actually have the buildings sitting here as well. And now this is kind of low resolution. There are a few things you could do about this. Like for example, if you wanted to, you could come in and you could actually use the materials function in order to make the snapshot texture into actual landscape. So if I was to come in here and click on this and I was to click on the button for landscape, I could actually come in with my landscape functions. So we'll click the checkbox and I could actually apply one of the landscape styles to this if I wanted to. So I could apply the grass, I could apply a lot of different things. And then I could come in here and if I really wanted to, I could start applying these to different faces and things like that. So you could actually paint materials in here, that kind of thing. In this case, I'm actually gonna take this back to the location snapshot. So we'll just go back to the material properties and we're just gonna click on imported material in order to bring that back. But there are things you can do about that as well. And then rendering this, you would just kind of render it the same way you do anything else where you kind of adjust your settings. One thing I do like about this is, um, especially with this city, if you come in here in your photo mode and um, I'm gonna import one of my presets for this real quick. So just the realistic shadows preset that I made a video about before. But if I come in here and I just add one of the real skies, so in particular, I like the way this one looks because it has clouds off in the distance, you actually get a really cool effect in the background just by making that change. And then what you could do is if you wanted specific buildings in here or something like this, you could just replace them inside of the SketchUp model. So you could just delete out one of these buildings and replace it with a more detailed model. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought was 
this helpful to you? Could you see yourself using this to create cities and things on terrain in Lumion? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.